Billy Menke, uh, and I please correct me if I'm uh, mangling your name, Billy. I don't know that I've ever said your last name out loud. <laughs> um, is uh, he's he's working for Creative Commons. He specifically joined Creative Commons uh, to work on the U.S. Department of Labor's uh, TAA CCCT grant, uh, which is <laughs> quite a mouthful as an acronym, but it's essentially it's a it's a major program to fund. Uh, the development of resources that will serve community colleges in the United States. Uh, and there was a provision uh, requiring that all resources developed under this program, uh, which can be community college systems can apply for uh, a good deal of grant money from the federal government. And all of the educational resources that they produce need to be released under a free license. So uh, Billy has been working with Creative Commons to support the many, many community college systems around the country that are suddenly needing to get up to speed on how do open educational resources work and how to incorporate that uh, into, their, into their work. Uh, Billy also has been uh, working alongside us on the School of Open, which uh, if you're not aware, the School of Open is a recently launched component of Peer-to-Peer -peer University, which is the framework we've used to, uh, to run this course. But there are a number of other courses that launched, launched simultaneously with us in March. Uh, and Billy has been working on one on open science, and more recently, I believe, on a couple of others that may be coming up as well. So uh, Billy, please uh, tell us a little more about Creative Commons and your take on OER. Um, I'm Billy Meinke. Uh, I work for Creative Commons on the education team. Um, I first became involved in open educational resources or open education, open source, about a year and a half ago um, when I was working at the University of Hawaii doing my master's in educational technology. And um, basically, I needed an open source project to be involved in. And the Mozilla Open Badges project uh, was looking for community volunteers to help out with community support and documentation. Um, I got involved with them and thought, this is really cool. We can actually work together and build some neat things and work on um, an open flow of credentials. And then that led me to Creative Commons, because many of these organizations, Mozilla included, um, use Creative Commons licenses. Um, and being at the University of Hawaii, uh, we do a lot of, or we did, I don't, <laughs> I don't work with them anymore so much. Um, but we relied very heavily on distance education, because we were a chain of islands. Uh, with students, um, you know, that were, were taking online courses primarily. Um, there we go, Mozilla Open Badges. And uh, basically, right now at Creative Commons, I am working on the TACT program, which is a United States Department of Labor federally funded program. Um, it's a very large program that it's uh, going to be producing Basically, one of the one of the larger pools of open educational resources. It's a four-year, two billion dollar grant, and right now we're we're at about the midway point. And um, the first series of courses, community college courses, are going to be uh, churned out, which is really exciting. And basically, I work with the community colleges. Um, in partnership with the Carnegie Mellon Open Learning Initiative, CAST, uh, which does accessibility and universal design, and the Washington State Board of Technical and Community Colleges, um, basically to support these community colleges, these grantees, in producing all these online courses, all of which have to be licensed uh, with a CC BY license. So they all really are true OER, which is exciting. So. Um, pretty soon here, we're going to have this new pool of resources of distance courses and hybrid courses that anybody can take and reuse for their own purposes. Um, so kind of relating back to Wikipedia and Creative Commons, uh, the Creative Commons Wikipedia page, um, I'll drop a link in there, it's, uh, it's kind of, it's, it's neglected. It really could use some work. Um, one of the areas that I thought it could use some work is um, linking out to and describing some of the, the areas that Creative Commons does work, because we work in open education, but also in open science, and in glam and culture, and in government and policy. And I noticed that the Creative Commons Wikipedia page 
Um, it has kind of a hodgepodge list of a few projects that Creative Commons work uh, or work has been released under a CC license. Um, it's not really organized, and um, it really could use a little beefing up. There's also no mention of the TACT program or the School of Open, both of which are producing OER, which is really exciting, really cool, and you know some people would be interested in finding out or, or joining, uh, taking part in if they knew about it. Um, but yeah, I think what you guys are doing, what, what Pete and Sarah are doing with this uh, Wiki School of Open class is really, really cool. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up and, I guess, uh, hand the mic back over to Pete.